What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I'm going to bring you some matches that were 3 versus 4. Some of them had a 4th person for a little bit, but all of them had very low scores, pretty much no kills, in this game, 0-0-0, zero, zero, zero. and another guy had negative 1. Yeah, you're thinking, how could you win defense basically 2 versus 4? And my answer to that is, I don't know, that's a very good question. Because I didn't know that was possible until these guys taught me. But luckily, I was going hard, killing everybody. Wait, why did my gun not shoot? Huh? Yeah, so that's annoying. I wish that would stop. But as I said before the game broke my brain, I was going hard, doing my thing, just killing it with the scorpion, you know. And just using the Orion, the most OP shotgun in the world. I just had everything on my side. I was going hard. As you can see, the guy is not playing. He was actually AFK. No score, no assist, no kills. And it's rough out here. And the worst part is, I didn't realize it was happening until right here. Negative one with minus 13 points, and then the zero, 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 and then he finally leaves the game, either lagging out or whatever it was that made him not here the whole time. And honestly, at this point, I had no idea what was happening. I just knew I did not like it. Because, honestly, like I said, you can't win this three versus four. And when they have it this far, are you kidding me? Then the most incredible game of my life happened. Running out, getting just unstoppables and insanes at every turn. I got a 19 at once. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. But I did get some really crazy stuff this game, and I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe we won this, because I did get multiple multi-kills. Of course I got the unstoppable. What do you think? I'm not gonna get the unstoppable? And if you've watched a lot of my videos, this is the point where you know, oh, well he's definitely not getting it now that he said he's definitely getting the unstoppable. But guess what? I like to keep you guys on your toes. Of course I got the unstoppable this time. But yeah, so I like to throw in some variety, some losses when you don't expect them, some multi-kills when you do or don't expect them and go the other way on it, you know. I try my best to keep it just not boring, not not expected. But on this one, I don't think anyone would ever expect you to win three versus four when you're defending this. When they got it as far as they did, when it was like three to four minutes left, just an absolutely insane game in every way. And my teammates having three and two kills is just absolutely nuts here. I can't fathom how we won this game in any way. I really don't know what happened. But what I do know is, thank God that we won this. Because if we would have lost at like the last second or something, I would have been so mad. Oh my God. Uh, that This whole time, I've been thinking like, okay, cool. We'll just get my KD up a little bit. You know, you can't win them all. And then like, when it starts to get into a minute, I start freaking out. Like, oh, my teammates are going to screw this up somehow. I just know it. Because, let's be real. I mean, they had it almost all the way with three minutes left. If it was four versus four, I would have my doubts that we're going to win. And when you have a guy that left and one guy with negative one kills at that point, you're not thinking about winning. You're thinking about, how can I minimize the, the impact of this loss on my psyche? I'm going to just try to do my best, maybe get a cool clip or something, you know? I didn't expect to win, that's for sure. But we did. And that is what's the coolest thing about these three versus four matches, is none of them are things you expect to win. Because it's just simply unfair. And that's fine. I mean, some of them aren't as bad as others. Like Team Deathmatch, for instance. A lot easier to win than something like Kart. And we did have a teammate for a little bit longer on this one, so I mean, it wasn't as three versus four, but it's close enough. And it was three versus four for a long enough period that it, it's significant. And it really does suck, though, that like once you get three versus four and the other team knows about it, they can do a lot of things to press that advantage. And some people don't know how to do that, or they just don't pay attention enough to know that you have less people. But the thing that I love the most on 3v4 is the fact that when you do win, just the satisfaction you get is so crazy because 
the games are so unexpected to win. And when you finally get it, it's just like, holy crap, I can't believe I did this. It's an achievement unlike many others in the game. On cart, I've actually only done that twice. So that one's very special. Like, um, I think I've done it once on control points. I don't think I've ever done it on zone control. And there's just certain things that are so crazy that are so hard in this game. And 3v4 is one of them. And so it just is one of the things that I feel special about winning. And so I figured I'd make a video on it. It's kind of like one of those really insane comebacks. It's just with three people. And obviously we've only had three people for about half the game, but hey. You know, it's a lot of time. Luckily for me, we were going hard, and I was making a video for the Stormbringer. I will have the video for the fair coming out tomorrow. This was the worst battle fair in history. But I have some videos for uh, the Stormbringer in mind as well. And holy crap, we won that one three versus four. The guy only had two kills, and they were both body shots all at once, and then he just sat and spawned. So I consider that one to be three versus four. And this one is similar to that, just the person, I think, lagged out, or they had, like, a family emergency or something. And so they got four kills, and they were, like, standing up, in a camp spot, and then they just stayed there, not dying. They just stayed there the whole time with no health. It was actually really, really weird. But I got put in this game a little bit late. Me and a fourth person joined, I think, spawn all at the same time. And the game had already kind of started. My team actually started in a pretty good position, which was nice. And we just did what we could, and it worked out pretty nicely. Luckily, when the guy went AFK, we did have a small lead, which really does help. I mean, obviously, in the first game, we didn't have a lead. We were getting crushed. So, not having that guy really sucked, and it was three versus four the whole time. In this one, we did get lucky, and the guy was there for a little while. So, that kind of gave us a chance. A little bit of a cushion, if you will. And I find these games interesting, mostly seeing how teammates will actually try pretty hard when it's three versus four. And I don't know what that is because it's really rare to have teammates like going for the hill, doing all the right things. But once they realize that like, hey, we could win this and it's three versus four, let's all stay back together. Let's not run out and play like solo. And I find it super interesting that humans like actually know how to play correctly and like get hills or don't run out and die by yourself. But they don't do that. What they do is they play like morons. But then when it's three versus four or like things get really bad, they play correctly. And then it's like, wait, why don't you do this all the time? Huh? And then it's kind of annoying, but I do appreciate it because hey, I mean, three versus four on the hill is not an easy thing to do. So I love my teammates for helping out so much because luckily we did have that guy there for a little while and then he just stopped playing up in the top. But I mean, he was there for a little while and we had a little bit of a lead, a little bit of a cushion to like drain down. And luckily we were able to get it. And right here, I was really worried I was going to give him the defensive kill. But instead, we got the triple. Great job, Arctic and Drews. I appreciate you guys. You know who else I appreciate? Opal for being the cutest puppy in the world. Oh my god, he's just so cute. And if you want to see the video behind this, then I will have in the pinned comment a YouTube short where it shows why Opal's eating out of the tub that stores his food instead of his bowls. And I will have that battle fair video out either tomorrow or the next day. Those things take forever to edit, and these are all really terrible things to get, so I don't have any recordings of them, so I have to basically do it all from scratch, so I, it'll take longer than normal. Either way, I appreciate everyone who donates, and all my channel members, thank you so much guys, really appreciate you, and I hope you all have a great day.